This is Northgate Unlocked, giving you access to everything that you need to know. It's the week of December 11th, and here's what's happening. Well, Christmas is in full swing, and the classics are on the radio all the time now. Sadie and I have put up our very first Christmas tree together and have almost all of our Christmas shopping done. Regardless of what traditions stick in the Gilmore household, this is a time for celebration. And women's ministry definitely knows how to do that. Today is their Christmas lunch. If you bought a ticket, be sure to be there today at 1 o'clock. Overflow Youth is also celebrating. We're having a birthday party for Jesus this Friday at 6 o'clock. In fact, this will be our first event upstairs in the new youth room. Be sure to join us for Christmas songs and games and white elephant gift exchanges and Christmas cookies and all kinds of awesome. Plus, next week we're celebrating obedience and faith in Christ through another baptism service. If you're interested in being baptized, you still can. Be sure to contact Pastor David or myself for more information. And that takes us to our Christmas weekend plans here at Northgate. We will be having one Christmas Eve service on December 24th at 6 p.m. and one Christmas morning service at 11 a.m. on Christmas Day. These services will be exactly the same, so feel free to come to one or the other. And finally, I'd like to remind you that toy donations for the Narrow Doors the Christmas Store are due in next Sunday. That means you have one week. Thank you already because we already filled half of a box, but we still got a box and a half to go. The Christmas store serves hundreds of families and thousands of kids every year, and it's such an awesome opportunity for partnership to impact this community. So let's not disappoint. John 1 says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 14, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as only the Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Sometimes I think that we discount or take for granted how amazing it is that God came to us. The Word became flesh. Our Father in Heaven didn't give up on us like He could have. He came to us to love us, to know us, to redeem us. He came in person to save us. And that is what we celebrate this season. He deserves every ounce of worship we can pour out for him. And let's do that this morning. Worship together and praise his name. And in the meantime, let's keep it tuned to Northgate Unlocked.